story time part eight. So, um, as it went, um, I got pregnant, and um, everybody did, you know, didn't, they didn't like it, and uh, my mom, she was like, are you going to keep the baby? And I said, yes, I'm going to keep my baby. She said, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm very sure. So, um, I was working at the time. I, was, I had to quit. So, because I was getting sick all the time. You know, with that uh, morning sickness. So, I had to stop. So, um, the doctor said that, you know, it was best for me to stop. So, I did. And uh, the social worker called me and said that she wanted to talk to me. And so I went to her office and she said, um, she said, won't you think about having an abortion? And I said, abortion? She said, yeah. She said, it'd be better if you have an abortion because your baby may come out blind or he may come out, um, uh, something may be wrong with it or he may come out, um, retorted. I said, well, you know what? I'm not having, uh, I'm not giving up my baby. I'm not going to. Um, abort my child so in fact they tried to send me to take me to uh, a clinic to have me abort my child and I wouldn't go so I got kind of upset with her but um, what I did was um, I just went home that day and I prayed about it and uh, I called on the phone and I said you know what I'm not giving up my baby and thank you very much. I sent the phone on her. And I never talked to her again. And I kept my child. So, that was the end of that. So, um, I quit work. And um, I, I quit and I was at home all the time. But it was all good because the doctor told me I had to slow down working. I was working too hard. Plus, you know, of the pregnancy. And uh, I was going to the doctor a lot and, you know, that had, the doctor told me that he, he didn't want me to work <clears throat> because this was my first pregnancy. So I was having a little bit of, you know, complications a little bit because uh, I was having, you know, I was stressful and, I think the job was giving me a lot of stress too. The dealing with other problems, you know, at home. But it was all good because I was, um, you know, um, I got me some crochet and I started knitting, making, you know, knitting sweaters and stuff and going to the doctor. And, um, and then uh, back then, you know, um, I was, uh, uh, sleeping also too so that was a thing too that I didn't want to be on the job sleeping with my head going down the desk so that was another thing <laughs> but anyway I was dealing with the baby daddy I was dealing with him and he was okay for a minute but then he got to be acting ignorant you know what I'm saying um, I didn't know about um, relationships too much. I mean, my mom told me, but, you know, they don't tell you too much, I mean, you know. And uh, she told me, you know, a little bit about my, about guys, but she didn't tell me a lot. I think that a mother's supposed to tell her girl, her girls, you know. Um, I learned on my own. Everything I've learned on my own. Um, where he would, you know, when I first got pregnant, I thought that he was uh, okay with it, which he was, because um, he had four kids of his own by another mat by a marriage that he was in before. He was married before, yeah, and uh, but he was divorced. So, he, um, and so therefore, um, he knew all about, you know, having kids. 